Hey everybody, Dave here from uh, Trigger RC, and I thought I would show you guys today a very, very simple uh, modification that you can do to your Traxxas Summit that's um, not only simple, but quick and a good, I would say, first, um, you know, modification or, or whatever. So if you have a brand new in the box, um, Traxxas Summit, and you're saying, you know, like, what could I possibly do with this thing? I'm a little bit tired of uh, just like you know having the stock summit. This is a good first one, and uh, what I'm referring to is actually the top light bar here. You can see now if you look at your own summit, and then kind of refer back to this one. You can see this one first of all has a bunch of wires coming out of it, and second of all has light bulbs in it. And so the reason for that is that I have upgraded to the uh, LED, and they're actual real lights. So the one that comes with the summit doesn't have any real lights. They're just uh, uh, chromed over, shiny, but not functional. Um, however, the front of the summit, as you all know, does have functioning lights as well as the back. So, why not? You know, if the if the front's functioning, and the back's functioning, well, why not the roof? So, I thought I would show you today how really easy it is. I'm not going to go back through the mod again, but um, literally, you go to your hobby store and say, "I'd like to pick up the light bar for the summit." It is a Traxxas product. It's designed for it, and it's a very simple modification. I'm going to pull the lid off here. As you can see, those wires came through the top and are actually connected. And you'll recognize this connector. It's the same connector that they have in the front. There it is there. Same connector they have in the back. It's that, that's just their, their standard cable connector. So what I've done here, and, and what I was instructed to do by the manual, and you can see all I've done here is just drill a hole and the hole goes through the top. Simple as that. Because all the wiring, let me just unplug this and move it out of the way here. Because the wiring harness in the summit actually does run underneath the motor, it was important that your step one is to actually remove the motor on the summit, which is quite simple. You're going to just, uh, you know, uh, take the cover off the transmission here the motor comes out with just a couple of screws and it's very simple to remove and put back in you don't have to take all the wires off or anything like that you don't have to do any of that just let remove the motor away from the vehicle and let it hang down and that frees up all of the wires and everything that you need so in there one of the wires that runs to this light uh, is is quite easy to just and, and they provide this to you, a little Y connector, where one plugs in this way and one then comes off this way. So what you end up with is a nice shiny new wire to then plug into here. So it's literally, uh, if you're uh, brand new at, at uh, modifications, it's uh, probably a 30 minutes worth of work. And it's very rewarding because in the end, your summit looks, uh, you know, a little bit like this. Wrapped up like a douche, another runner in the night. 